Hello everyone. The former president Jacob Zuma is playing for time. This is according to advocate Billy Downer. Downer in his affidavit filed on Friday in response to Zuma's latest application to remove him has now called on the court to invoke provisions of the NPA Act which allows a court to investigate any unreasonable delay in criminal proceedings and issued an order to eliminate the delay and any prejudice arising from it. Downer said given the 20-year history of Zuma's Stalingrad tactics to avoid having his day in court, it's time for the court to put its foot down. He said we seek the following order, that if he is unsuccessful in this application, that the criminal trial should proceed and shall not be suspended by any applications for leave to appeal. This court is empowered to make such an order. The latest salvo fired against Downer by Zuma comes up after he summons him and journalist Karen Morgan to court in private prosecution alleging Downer contravened sections of the NPA Act by leaking a document containing his personal medical information to Morgan. The Peter Marisberg High Court Judge Pete Cohen, who has now recused himself as the trial judge, has already ruled in a previous unsuccessful application in which Zuma sought to challenge Downer's title to prosecute on allegations he is biased that there is no basis to this complaint. Downer, in his answering affidavit in the latest bid to remove him, said he has been the lead prosecutor in, in successive prosecutions, first of Zuma's former financial advisor Shapiro Sheikh and then Zuma in the arms deal related matter. He said Zuma's prosecution has been dragging on for the better part of 20 years, the delay in large part due to Zuma's Stalingrad tactic. They have varied widely over the years but were all baseless and, and ultimately failed. They served his purposes, however, because he pursued them as far as he could to play for time. Whenever a challenge finally petered out, he would initiate a fresh challenge for another round of litigation to avoid ever having to stand a trial. Despite this, he had now repackaged and repeated the same complaints in both private prosecution and the latest application for his removal. His ultimate goal has been never to face his day in court allowing Mr. Zuma to choose his own prosecutor through relentless attacks not only compromises the impartiality of the prosecution but eroded public confidence in the criminal justice system. The former president will file a reply to Downer's affidavit in mid-June and both parties will file heads of argument before the matter is heard on August 15 and 16. Zuma and French arms company Tails are facing charges of racketeering, corruption, money laundering and fraud charges relating to the arms deal. Zuma is accused of receiving about 4 million rands via his former financial advisor Shabur Sheikh to assist the Tails to secure defense contracts. What's a take on this one people? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.